The Yew Tree Public House in the tiny village of Barfreston in Kent is a building which has been in existence from the beginning of the 20th century, following the destruction of the earlier building by fire. The village, however, has a history which is ancient, at least Anglo-Saxon in origin, and this history is admirably reflected in the architecture of the local village church. The Yew Tree itself did not have a prolific haunting, the first manifestation that I know about occurred to the owner Nigel who was there between 1991 and 1996 on the first day that he had moved in. He and a customer witnessed a full glass of beer on the counter slowly tip itself over as though controlled by an invisible hand. Other phenomena at the yew tree had been noticed subsequent to this. A shelf of glass mounted upon sturdy brackets which has since the event remained steadfastly fixed in place, apparently launched itself and the glasses upon it to the floor when nobody was near, nor any cause could be found. A female figure was seen by one member of staff who was in the bar about 11.20 in the morning when the pub was preparing to open. Upon looking through the empty bar, the reflection of a woman in elderly years and having curly white hair was seen in the window panes. The reflection was mirror-like in quality and could only have been produced by someone seated by the window inside the building. Upon discussion, it was suggested that the figure is that of a former owner, of whom the given description is somewhat similar. Another incident involved a member of staff when alone in the bar, who heard a strange noise emanating from the cellar. Upon investigation, it was discovered that the barrels were vibrating, even shaking, where they stood. No causes for the above events have ever been firmly established, however it, it is known that the son of a former owner killed himself in the garage, which was then demolished, and his spirit has been blamed for this. A medium who visited the pub in around 2007 believed there were at least five spirits there, stating that three are priests, one is a gardener, and the other is a lady in white. It is my belief that as of 2011, the yew tree ceased to be a public house. We visited the yew tree on a number of occasions and unfortunately never observed or felt anything untoward of a paranormal origin. Apart that is, when on one occasion while seated at the bar chatting on a lunchtime with Nigel about the magnificent church architecture in the village, we watched as a mostly full pint glass of beer moved itself a couple of inches along the bar. Not spilling a drop, I'm glad to say. <laughs> 